Well, the mission of Camp Olympia was to have fun together and help people grow in body, mind, and spirit. And so, whereas camp is doing that for younger people, Whispering Pines is doing that for older people. If you said, how do you be a member of Whispering Pines? You give money to charity. So if you don't give money to the Spirit Golf Association, which half of it has to go to some charity, then you don't need to come up here and play. So um, the people that do that have got a philanthropic bent. So that for the most part, I think we've had two people that I've had to boot because they got the wrong attitude, but in 11 years, that's not a bad batting average. So the people that, that want to make these contributions have got a spirit of giving themselves. And so we just give them that opportunity. And frankly, they're all doing great things in other places. There are so many things to help around here, but uh, this one has got the added bonus of a nice place to be, you know, while you're celebrating uh, uh, that contribution to humanity. And what does that specifically go toward? What's, what's the organization or the charities that, that you're involved in, that Whispering Pines is involved in? Well, first of all, the spirit is like the Olympics for golf. There is no Olympics for golf. So, so far we're it. Um, of course, that's a charity all by itself. We've basically focused on health. And the first thing we did is help found the immunization registry, which is immunizing kids. Well, the immunization rate in Houston was 52% when we started, and it's gotten up to 82% now. And now that same um, immunization registry has gone statewide. And so, uh, it is its own 501c3 and sort of a life of its own. Uh, we feel um, very vindicated that it's a major contribution. Uh, the second thing that we've really tried to help is Baylor College of Medicine's teen clinic. They see about 30,000 kids have got nine clinics in uh, HISDs and Ben Tob and LBJ and so they are basically the uh, care provider for teenagers in the city of Houston. And uh, I've been on the Baylor College of Medicine board and Dr. Peggy Smith was in UT the same time I was, so I've known her since we were in college. She's been working at this for over 40 years and is a brilliant lady and has put together just a world-class program. What we did for them basically is help them go to the World Wide Web. And so set up a communication channel so that uh, all these kids that have got uh, cell phones and you know had some way to communicate would be able to go and get answers. If you said 50, 60 percent of the kids in HISD are from broken homes and so they got a single parent, they're working, so the kids got to look after themselves, you got a 15 year old, you know half of the kids, half of the teenagers in Houston or have got uh, sexually transmitted disease. Hello? It's an epidemic. Nobody's dealing with it. And so Baylor College of Medicine and Peggy Smith are the frontline warriors on this. And, and what we've tried to do is to give them an information exchange so that those kids can understand, you know, what they need to do if they have a problem and what they can do to keep from having a problem. So I think it's a it's an important thing that Peggy's doing. Well, through, look, through Camp Olympia, you know, we've been involved with kids for 46 years now. Uh, I've got three kids of my own and nine grandkids. You know, do I want to see my grandkids going up in a world where nobody's taking care of the youngsters? And so I've been worried, about, I've been worried and working on the provider side. If I had to say what my focus has been is, and, and the other thing that we do is medical bridges. Medical Bridges collects excess supplies from all over, you know, and then ships them to 50 or 70 countries around the world that are in need of them. And so last year they shipped five million dollars worth of goods. Essentially what we've done for Medical Bridges is give them trucks to go pick up the goods. So the hospitals, the uh, medical schools, you know, the Texas Medical Center has 50 institutions has more health care going on and more providers than any place on earth and those are for the most well, they're all not for profits in the Texas Health Medical Center. 
And those not-for-profits, well, they got excess supplies, they give them to the medical bridges, the medical bridges ships them someplace they're useful. I don't know how many countries we have or the recipients of that, but quite a few. So those have been the three charities that we focused on.